In this video we're talking about how to find the sum of a finite geometric series. So when I mean finite geometric series, I just mean that it's not approaching infinity from either direction. So you could either have a series where you know like a couple terms and you know that it ends, or you could have a series that looks like it goes on forever but you choose a stopping place. So your stopping place might be at the ninth term or the twelfth term. So it goes on forever, but you're only looking at a small section of an infinite geometric series. So the formula that I like to use is Sn equals R times Tn minus T1 over R minus 1, where R does not equal 1. So Sn just stands for the sum of however many terms there are, R is the common ratio, which you find by taking, for example, the second term divided by the first term. Tn is the term at n, so it's the same n there. If you're finding the sum of the first nine terms, this would be T9, and it would be the sum of the first nine terms. Minus T1 is the first term over R minus 1, same R as that one. And we've got the rule that R cannot equal 1. So we're going to look at a series. We've got 64 minus 32 plus 16 minus etc. And we're going to find the sum of the first nine terms. So it's an infinite series, but we're only looking at the first nine terms, so just a chunk of the series. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what r is. We'll need r in the formula. So r, all you need to do is take one term and divide it by the term in front of it, it's really important that you pay attention to positive and negative signs. So I'm going to choose this term, so it's negative 32, and divide by the term in front of it, which was positive 64. And when you get negative 32 divided by 64, you should end up with negative 1 over 2, so negative a half. So I'm just going to fill that in in our formula, and I'm just going to change that to be negative 0.5, just because a lot of people are a little more comfortable with decimals. And then we're going to multiply by, we're finding the sum of 9, so we're going to multiply by T9. Now, T9, we need to figure out what that is. And I'm just going to go up here. We have the formula Tn equals T1 r to the n minus 1. So to find T9, we're going to take the first term, which is 64, multiply by the common ratio, which was negative 0.5, signs really important, to the exponent of n minus 1. In this case, n is 9, so n minus 1 will be 9 minus 1, which will be 8. And you can just stick that in your calculator, and I get that T9 is approximately equal to 0 0.25. So I'm going to plug that into my formula. 0 0.25 minus T1. T1 was positive 64. And all of that divided by R minus 1. R was negative 0 0.5 minus 1. I'm going to go up a little bit. Okay, so sum, we're taking the sum of the first nine terms, so we should change that to S9, and I'll go 0 0.5 negative, negative 0 0.5 times 0 0.25, and I get that this is equal to negative 0 0.125 minus 64 over negative 0 0.5 minus 1 is going to be negative 1.5. To go back up top, negative 0 0.125 minus 64 is approximately equal to, actually exactly equal to, negative 64.125. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is always equal to a positive. 64.125 divided by 1.5, I get that that's equal to 
42.75. So in this series, the sum of T1 plus T2 plus T3 all the way up to adding on T9 is equal to positive 42.75 approximately.